Hey guys, T Master back in our video, and yes, you do see Guild Wars 2 background as the gameplay for this video, but this is not a let's play. No, this is my ESRB rant because I really need to get this off my chest. So first of all, let me just tell you about what I think about the people at ESRB. I think they have the talents and brain power of a rock. So let me just get that off my chest. And really, I think yes, I think ESRB rated games should definitely have a different rating for the PC ports because if you're not as dumb as a stump and um, can get in the game files pretty easy. You can actually cater the game to make it whatever rating you want. And if you know how to use mods and stuff, you can. It, it's even further. So, um, yeah. So this is my. So yeah, this is my ESRB rant. So let's get started. And so my first game I'm gonna talk about, Fallout 4. This is one of my favorite games. Like, heck, I'm wearing a t-shirt for it right now. And you know what I did in it? I turned off the blend and gore. And you know why I did that? Well, I, I kind of had to, but... Yeah, I mean, it's so easy to do it. You just have to go into the game files, find a Fallout 4 Eni file, and just go do the disable all gore and disable all blood, and put them to, like, disable all blood... It was something with blood and disable all gore, I think you put to zero, and it was something with blood you put to one. Uh, yeah. And then, boom. You're good. So, but here's another thing. Let's, let's talk about, um, the bullcrap language, the bullcrap language in it. I, I personally don't think Fallout 4 on the box set. It needs to say it has strong language because I've heard about four bad words that like every eight-year-old knows just like one in a song uh, like one or two in conversations and that's it and um, let's talk about the drug reference because that's absolute bullcrap too let's look at Minecraft potions and let's compare them to Fallout 4 drugs so let's look at a stim pack just heals you. Um, I don't know what that's like from Minecraft. Oh yeah, a healing potion. Boom. And Rataways and Rat like Rataway is pretty much a regeneration if you think about it. Uh, that's in my opinion what it is a, a regeneration or a healing. And a Psycho is just pretty much a strength. And I haven't figured out the other ones, but yeah. And Jet, um, I haven't really figured out what Jet is. Really, I know it just slows down time, but yeah. And now let's go to our next game. All source games. So that's, um, oh, I don't know, uh, Gary's Mod, CSGO, Left 4 Dead games, Half Life 2, um, I'm trying to think of more. So you got CSGO, Left 4 Dead games. Half-Life 2, and TF2. There's actually a launch option. Yes, like, because everyone, because launch options are easy enough to do. You just have to, you just have to, like, um, left-click on the game in Steam, press launch option, properties, and set launch options, then just type in one simple command. Boom. You're good. No blood. Boom. So that's, that's that easy, but Valve games can be a little bit violent, so I still think they should be, like, T-rated on the PC, but still, uh, it's ridiculous. But, and I think Fallout 4, uh, should be T or E10, just please not, yeah. And now, uh, we're gonna go on to the next game, Skyrim. Um, so we all know this is a bit... It's a bit of an old game. It's it's uh, five years old. It's getting a remastered version this year. Um, I don't I, I don't think the ESRB have heard, have heard of something. Uh, I think you you and me because we're we're pros. We're gaming pros. We you've probably heard of it. They're they're called mods, and uh, yeah, you can use them to modify your game. And yeah, that means like add unicorns, Thomas the Tank Engine, and add really sick weapons that like one shot nubs and oh it yeah you can yeah um oh i don't know you can turn off the blood because knowing someone since there's like literally probably over 
at least over a hundred thousand mods for Skyrim, you can turn off the blood. Simple. It's so simple. I don't get it. What? So, in my opinion, Skyrim on the PC, PC should be rated E10, in my opinion. And now let's go on to Ark Survival Evolved. Now, th the stuff that makes it M is uh, just flat out bullcrap. Bullcrap. Blood, some blood and a little bit of violence doesn't make an M rated game. In my opinion, that should be T. I haven't found a way to turn off the blood and gore, but knowing that Ark has a decent modding community, there is. And there's probably some sort of console command or some. Something, because that's how you do it in Quake 3 Arena. Um, yeah. Now, uh, let's go on to the, the second to last part of this video. Other bullcrap ratings. Now, this is one of my favorite games. And I think everyone, especially if you play on the PC, I think there's a PC exclusive. Sid Meier Civilization 5. You, this is a very good game. It's just, it's fun, it pulls you in, and it does not let you go. The ESRB rating says it has of uh, extensive blood, no, gore, no, nudity, no, no. It says it has. It says it has drug reference. How? 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 I haven't seen drugs mentioned once in the like ten hours or so I've played of it, like around ten hours, eight or ten. I haven't seen drugs referenced once. I've just seen a little bit of violence, but there's like literally like a dust cloud that goes over like when there's a battle, so you can't even really see it. And Mirror's Edge, uh, I'm going to try and make this one kind of quick. Um, yes, y you do have to fight those officers like once or twice, but that's about it. it it's really not, it's really just a parkour game. It's nothing more it's just a parkour adventure game a very good one at that though let me go ahead and say it i really personally think it should be rated e10 and portal violence really there's portal is a puzzle game it doesn't have violence so let's yeah just clear that and in conclusion um the srb the people there i think are kind of biased towards consoles because like every PC exclusive game I feel like are cuz it was, I think it was really like just before it got announced for Xbox uh Subnautica I forgot to talk about that yeah they they all have bullcrap ratings because I just I'm not going to go on a whole like they're biased man rants because uh, that that would be pointless it's calling someone biased is kind of pointless uh, just calling them bullcrap and how improving it is is more um it has more purpose more purpose god dang it um yeah so yeah in conclusion the esrb everyone that works there is as dumb as a stump i really think there should be different ratings for pc games uh, yeah and if you're a kid you want to play PC game if you want to play some very popular games and you have a PC and you want to play it on the PC. Um, I'll leave tricks in the description down below. I'll leave the Source Engine trick and maybe I'll if I can figure it out. I'll leave how to um, do that uh, Fallout 4 Blood and Gore trick. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this little ESRB kind of more of exposed video. This was more of an ESRB, just, I don't really know how to describe it even. It was more of an ESRB, just, you're all dumbasses, listen to me, rant, or video. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like if you did, subscribe if you're new, and don't ask the video, and next time, goodbye.